So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Umadigi Bison Pro. I wanna thank the guys at Umadigi for sending this over to review on the channel. Resolution on this is 2340 by 1080, 6.3 inch full HD display. This comes with a Helio G80 processor. You can get four gigabytes of RAM or eight gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes storage. It's got a 48 megapixel triple camera and a 24 megapixel selfie camera, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, 18 watt fast charging, IP68, IP69K, military standard 810G. And this one comes with Android 11. Infrared thermometer 2.0. Pricing on this is gonna range from about 160 bucks when it's on sale up to a little more than $200. Obviously that's gonna depend on which model you get. But I'll leave a link in the description of the video with current pricing and more information. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a heavy duty phone here. Wow, this thing screams industrial or heavy duty. So inside the box, obviously quick start guide. USB-C to USB-A charging cable. And I like that they went with red. Sort of reminds me of what OnePlus does. And here's your USB-A wall adapter. I know this is my first time with a Uma Digi phone, but so far I like what I'm seeing. Really nice metal material on the side. You've also got a nice orange button there at the bottom. I'm guessing that's gonna be a dedicated button that you can customize. Headphone jack there on the top. USB-C charging port on the bottom. You've also got a built-in hook there at the bottom if you're gonna use a lanyard. Really nice soft touch material here on the back, sort of a matte finish, and then real glossy there in the center where the Bison Pro logo is. Looks like you have a speaker there in the back as well. Left-hand side, you've got a fingerprint scanner, SIM card tray, or a micro SD card tray. Okay, so it looks like you've got another orange button here on this side. I kind of like what these guys are doing here. And you can see this phone is indeed waterproof and shockproof. Sort of a teardrop style selfie camera there in the middle. You've also got a speaker up there by the earpiece. Definitely has a little bit bigger bezel there at the bottom and on the top. And then of course there on the left is your fingerprint scanner. Now it is a little bit weird that they have the fingerprint scanner on the left hand side, but I'm sure it's just something to get used to. Looks like they have a real thin screen protector there already on the phone. Okay, so when they say stock Android, can't get much more stock looking than that. Wait a second, they don't actually use an app drawer on this? Okay, that's definitely a little different. Luckily it looks like you can change that pretty easily here. Now when you swipe up from the bottom, you get all your pre-installed apps and they don't put a lot of apps on here, so that's nice to see. Up in the notification shade, it's actually really simple. You've just got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Do Not Disturb, Flashlight, Auto Rotate, Battery Saver, Mobile Data, Dark Theme, Airplane Mode, Location, Screencast, Screen Record, Nearby Share, Screenshot, and then it's also got a Glove Mode and NFC. Looks like it's using about 14% of the 128 gigabyte storage. So actually that's really good. Swipe over to the left on the home screen and you're gonna get the Google News Feed. I mean, if you're looking for a stock Android phone, it's not a bad idea going pretty much all stock Android here. Now the cool thing is the customizable button on each side, you've got an underwater mode where you can use that button to take photos. Then to get back to the regular mode, you just hit the power button. Then the customizable button on the other side, you can actually use it to take temperature of people or objects. Just hold this phone one to three centimeters from the object or the person, and you can actually measure their temperature. So about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, I guess that's good. Nice thing is you can customize the smart key on the left hand side and the right hand side for what it's gonna do for single click, double click, and long press. phone is a little more unique when it comes to the speakers. You've got one on the back and then one where the earpiece is. Now let's do a quick sound test to see what the speaker sounds like.
Okay, so the speakers on here actually sound louder than I expected. I think it definitely helps that you got one on the back and one on the front. So pretty much however you have the phone set up, you're gonna hear the speakers pretty good. Now in the camera app, you've got beauty, video, picture, portrait, and extra. Inside extra, you've got night, panorama, pro, and slow motion. Now video quality on this is going to be full HD or 1080p, however you want to look at it. And that's going to be on the front and rear facing cameras. And you can go up to 48 megapixel on photos. Let's try the 48 megapixel real quick just to see what it looks like here. Okay, so yeah, really nice resolution here. Really nice detail as well. You get a triple camera setup there on the back, 48 megapixel, 16 megapixel, and five megapixel. Here's a few samples of photos and video, just to give you an idea of what to expect. I feel like you can get decent photos on this phone as, as long as the lighting situation is pretty good. The version I have here is the four gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. This is also IP68, IP69K rating. Now gaming on this phone, you're gonna get HD graphics, high frame rates on games like PUBG Mobile. In my testing, Asphalt 9 and PUBG Mobile played nice and smooth. I think most people are gonna be satisfied with gaming performance on this phone. And one other thing that I did notice, the touch sensitivity on the screen feels like you've really gotta push a little bit harder than on other phones for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be that way since this is a rugged phone. Just something I thought I'd point out. While I do really like the customized buttons you have on each side of the device i did find that i was accidentally hitting those just using the phone normally so i'm sure that takes a little getting used to overall just a really nice rugged affordable phone by uma digi so if you've made it this far into the video you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful this is brian from fishby productions thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.